Hi, this is Stephanie Chase with The Joy of Needlepoint, and I hope everybody's doing well today. It is wet and rainy here in Greenville, South Carolina, and I hope you're having better weather where you are. I want to take a minute today and talk to you a little bit about stretcher bars and how to put them together and why they are important for us while we're needlepointing. So when you um, purchase stretcher bars, they're going to come to you in um, little packages. It's two to a package. These are 10 inch bars and these are the mini stretcher bars, which means they're nice and thin. There are some thicker bars as well. And they come in a variety of different inches. You will choose your stretcher bars based on the size of your canvas or your project that you are wanting to work on. Okay. So, and you'll need a total of four. So you'll need two packages. Okay. When it's time to um, put your stretcher bars together, uh, you will notice that the each end of the bars are grooved. And so what you will need to do is fit these grooves together and they will fit together with one another in such a way that allows the corners to be nice and smooth. And so as you are putting these together, when I say smooth, this is what I am referring to. You see how this is nice and smooth right here? And it is also on the other side, okay? So then I turn it 90 degrees and then put in the third one. And again, it's nice and smooth up here on the corners. And then I will go ahead and proceed and put the fourth one on. This fourth one is a little tighter in one corner over here. And so I'm just going to grab my mallet, which is nice to have handy. And bang it together. And then there you go. I've got my stretcher bars. You'll notice each corner is smooth. They're nice and snug in the corners. And um, yeah, so it's nothing, nothing too difficult. It's just like putting a puzzle together. So once you put your bars together, you have a choice. You can put your bars on top of your canvas, like this one. You will see um, that the bars are on top of my canvas. Or you can put them on the back. I just happen to prefer my bars go on top of my canvas. And I do that for a variety of reasons. As I turn my canvas around, it allows me to have a nice smooth surface on the back of my canvas so when I am anchoring my thread with my needle I'm not butting up against this wood that's down here on the canvas if they were on the back okay so that is one of the main reasons that I put my stretcher bars on the front of the canvas um, I also like to have the option of holding the bars on the front of my canvas instead of my fingers and the oils and the grease being actually touching the front of my canvas too much. Um, I also use a System 4 stand when I am stitching and I like having the bars on the front of my canvas so my clamp is not clamping down on the front side of my canvas. Okay, so once you decide which way you want your bars to go, whether you want them on the front of the canvas or the back of the canvas, and again, either way, there's not a wrong way to do it. The first thing I do is I line up the upper edge of my canvas on the bar and I go ahead and tack it down. You want to make sure these tacks are nice and smooth to the wood. If you can't get them in there smooth, use your mallet. Um, you don't want your thread to be wrapped around these all the time while you're stitching. So make sure they're nice and pushed in all the way. I start in the middle and then I just work my way out from side to side until I actually get to each corner. Don't need to worry about pulling this. Just make sure it's nice and level and tight. Um, and then I will flip it upside down. And this is where you need to pay a little bit closer attention here. So what I recommend is that you start in the center by putting a tack and you're going to want to use your bars leverage, pull this canvas nice and snug and tight and then put your tack in and then move out to the one side, do the same thing, pull it nice and tight, put your tack in and then do the other side. 
Always making sure you pull your canvas nice and tight before you put your tack in and work your way out to the corners. I recommend you do your tacks about every two inches, maybe one and a half inches. Um, that will just help you keep all sections of your canvas nice and tight. So now I've done the top, I've done the bottom, and now it's time to turn and do the side. And so the same thing, you're going to start in the middle, pull it nice and tight, put your tack in, move over here, pull it, put your tack, pull it, etc., all the way out to the corners, and then you've got your last side to do the same, okay? What that is going to do is going to allow the center section of your canvas to be nice and, and tight for your stitching. So the reason why we like to use stretcher bars is <clears throat> um, it preserves the integrity of your canvas. It keeps it nice and stiff. Um, and so the material that, that is protecting your canvas and your paint doesn't get broken down by crumpling it up in your hand. Um, it also helps keep your tension a little bit more consistent um, when the canvas is on um, stretcher bars. And also the other reason is it keeps your canvas from warping. When you stitch in your hand, you may notice that your canvas, when you're done with it, is all out of shape and warped. And the finisher then has to block it and um, spend some time trying to get it back into shape. And this just alleviates a lot of that. It keeps it nice and squared the way it's supposed to be. Um, keeps your fingers off of it, keeps your grease off of it, protects your threads, etc. So there are a lot of good reasons. Um, to use stretcher bars, I will admit, you know, if you are somebody that always uses um, stitches in your hand, it's going to take a little bit of time to get adjusted to, but most people that have transitioned to bars has gotten adjusted to it very quickly. So I just recommend that you give it a try and um, hope that helps. And so please feel free to leave me any comments or like the video if you um, care to, and I hope to see you soon. Happy stitching!